Columbia County parents, you have until Wednesday to decide whether your kid will learn from home or go to school this fall. News Channel 6's Devin Johnson takes a look at how social distancing will be forced in the schools. Devin has this story. Public schools are expecting to return to face-to-face -face classes in the fall. Columbia County school leaders are expecting some students to opt to learn remotely. That will automatically reduce population in buildings. So even though we're having traditional school, there will be less students in the building than, than what we would ordinarily have. The Columbia County School District is working on plans to keep students safe who are coming to school on August 3rd. We can do things like uh, have single file in hallways. We can make hallways one way so that everybody's going the same direction and we're not, you know, um, coming into face to face contact. Lunch schedules will also be altered. Eating outside would be great for kids and they'd probably really enjoy it. Maybe eating in the commons area or, you know, where kids can spread out and just enjoy themselves. Parents always have the option to send their children to school with a face mask. If COVID-19 were to show an increase in, in such a degree that face masks became necessary to the point of it's not a choice anymore, we'll do that. And at the end of the day, parents will play a key role to make sure all of this works. If they have have any suspicion that they or their children might be sick, please don't come to school. You know, take those um, actions up front mm. to learn, to find out, to self-quarantine, and so that we're not putting everyone at risk. And the school district has an in-depth list of questions and answers regarding safety, schooling options, and requirements. You can find that link to that list on our website at WJBF.com. In Evans, I'm Devin Johnson, WJBF News Channel 6. Georgia's